What's up everyone? Chance here with Missouri Outdoors. Today we are back in the deer woods. It is November 6th. It's about 8.37 in the morning. We've been here since daylight and needless to say it's been fairly eventful. <laughs> we had a decent young buck come through and we had a group of turkeys come in and well needless to say it didn't go exactly as planned but i have both of those clips coming up next for you so you'll get to see exactly what went down <laughs> we um just a moment ago i heard what sounded like a deer blowing up that direction which isn't too uncommon there is a um a house up there about oh about 500 yards or so from here and the neighbor's dogs have a tendency to well mess with the deer <laughs> Matter of fact, every time one of their dogs usually barks, it's a good indication that there's deer up there. And a lot of times they'll come this way if they cross up there. So, half the time when a dog barks, I don't have to wait but like 15 minutes and there's usually a deer standing here. But alright. We're going to go ahead and sit back down and get to hunting. I just figured I would give you a proper intro and a little prequel of what's to come. But alright, we're going to settle back in and probably sit another hour or two. And then I may have another little special thing to show you. I set a uh, game camera up on a scrape down here in the bottom back near where I walked in from and I checked in on my way in here this morning and I think we have pictures of the big buck and two or three other different bucks. I may take the chip home, stick it in the computer and show you guys them through the video towards the end here and I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you now we'll do it and I won't look at any of the photos from when I got here this morning till I leave. So if anything come by there this morning, you'll get to see the reaction and everything because I'll have seen it for the first time too. But alright, we're going to get back to hunting. We started out the morning with this pretty decent buck. He had come walking down the power line from up the hill from where our stand is sitting. I didn't really notice him for quite a while, so that's one of the reasons I don't have a lot of footage of him. He kind of surprised me a little bit. But a pretty decent buck nonetheless. I'm kind of excited to see what he actually looks like in the future. I'm going to try to keep a game camera at the place down there for a while and try to get more pictures of him up until hopefully they lose their horns and then maybe into next year when they're growing more. So we'll see what he turns into. Now this is not my proudest moment. I've been trying to get footage for like a small game video, hopefully, and I thought this squirrel would be a great addition. So I had set up and I'd been focused on him for quite a while trying to get everything set up just right. And I just got settled in and I happened to look to the left and these turkeys just come around the corner and there they were. Yeah. <laughs> 
basically my plan was I mean I already had my bow in my hand because I was getting ready to try to shoot at that squirrel and if you've ever tried to shoot a turkey with a bow from a tree stand you know how hard it is to get away with any movement whatsoever so usually when I'm in this situation the way I play it is I try to let them get as close as possible because I can call turkeys with just my natural voice. So if they catch me drawing my bow, a lot of the time, if they're close, they'll run out to 20 or 30 yards, and I can usually putt at them or yelp at them and get them to stop. Which basically was my plan here. So we'll see just how that goes. At first, I thought there was only like four or five of these, which usually, if there's like one or two, you're a lot more likely to get away with your movements. But as they started to get a lot closer, it became very apparent that there was more than I originally had thought. And what you can't see is I'm wearing a orange stocking cap because it was really really cold this morning and there's that tree right in front of me that is basically blocking my body in or the view of my body from these turkeys and at one point I go to lean out to draw my bow I think right there maybe but you can tell when I do, and they just all of a sudden just catch my movement, and it happens so quick, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright guys, well, we're back home now, and this is the first picture over the scrape I was talking about. I've seen most of these. I'm not 100% sure if there's any I haven't seen. If they were there this morning, then yeah, I haven't seen them, because I didn't look at it after I pulled it. I just brought it home so we could look at it together. There we go. I'd probably shoot him. <laughs> At least with a bow.
Now, keep in mind that the time on there hasn't been changed for daylight savings. So, for the days that it applies to, it's going to be an hour earlier. So that would be 4.56 p.m. I think that's the buck that come by us this morning while we were hunting. Alright, yep, that's it. Nothing else come by that morning. That would have been me checking the camera this morning at 5.53. Which is crazy, cause that buck, he come a long way. He went a long ways in that hour. Well, I guess I would have seen him three hours after that point. I believe it would be. But all right, well, that's gonna pretty much wrap this up. Hopefully, we'll be back in the stand either this evening or tomorrow. So, hopefully, we'll be able to make another video. But alright guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And make sure to leave this video a like and share it out. We are at 113 subscribers as of recording this. And I'd like to thank everyone for sticking around. But alright guys, have a good one.